What up? And I'm with the poor, 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 poor lighting. Because I'm in my photo room. But anyways, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about that. And I want to know, let you guys know that I can help with that. Like, I got a couple of tips that can help you with what you're going through. But first of all, let me um, define what it means. It's having a connection with somebody. And it being really hard for you to disconnect from that person. So, that's what a soul tie is. like, And it doesn't even have to be physically. It could be emotionally, mentally. And last, the one that we all know, physically. Um, but, so yeah, I was, I was doing my whole, like, you know what I'm saying? It's an interesting topic. But, yeah, but I feel like it can still be overcome. So, that's not, it doesn't have to be a problem that you have. But it does take, quote, unquote, fasting. But I'm, like, not in a food way, but, like, in a, like, you need to solitude. Like, you need to isolate yourself and be good with yourself. You need to learn how to be on your own, on with yourself, with your thoughts, know how to handle that. Handle that. Check yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to ever be able to overcome anything and get over this person if you don't know how to handle yourself. You can't control yourself. That's why you're looking for somebody to control you because you can't control yourself. So you think you are in need of being controlled when... Your mind is a powerful place. And this is what I was saying because I was talking to myself early. And I was like, our mind is a powerful place. Our mind can be the spot that frees us and be the same very, that can be the very same spot that traps us. So our mind can help us and also hurt us. But how you take that is up to you how you handle that. So I'm going to put you guys down. Let me, let me put you down somewhere. Anyways. But like I said, being serious, because like I know probably like a lot of you guys are struggling. A lot of you girls, guys are struggling. But like I feel like the very first thing what you need to do is help yourself, sweetheart. Um, stop letting, stop, stop having that uh, door open for that person. You got to close it. Yep. You can't let them know that they can come. They're not welcome no more. You can't come here. The relationship is no longer the same no more. That title, that relationship we once had, it's not the same no more. You don't have that title no more. And no, they can't work to earn it. Maybe if you want to restore that relationship, but right now we're focusing on this, okay? We're not even, okay? You came for this video for this reason, so. We're not even going to talk about that. That can be a whole nother video. About like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Going back with that person, but them not being the same, but being better. They worked on themselves. They're working on themselves. You're not, you you recognize, you acknowledge that, okay, there's problems with me that I need to fix. And I'm working on myself. So you're letting that person know and then whatever. And then whoop me. If you work style, you guys get back together. You forgive that person. You work things out with that person. You know what I'm saying? But this is not what this video is about. This is about getting over that person. So if you're the type of person, if you want, want a video about, you know what I'm saying, working things out with that person, still continuing on that relationship, that that can be another video. But in this video, it's about overcoming and getting over that person because it can happen. Like, yeah, everybody think you can't do something. Something is unachievable, un not possible until it happens, until somebody do it. Now what you got to say? You look stupid for doubting yourself and for doubting other people. And then when somebody get it done, you look dumb. You look like, bitch, you just wanted to stay stuck. Like, you giving yourself all these excuses just so you cannot do nothing. Like, you want to you wanna stay stuck. You giving yourself all these excuses, just do something. What works, works. What didn't work, oh, well, you already stuck. And it's like, it's like me. Never mind, I don't want to use the reference because of everything going on. So, anyways. Um... But one thing, yes, you have to uh, stop. That door has to, that open door that you once had has to be closed. They're not welcome to you no more. You're not welcome to them. 
you gotta you gotta let it show. So if you gotta delete messages, delete pictures, delete this, block, do all those extinct take it. You have to do it. Are you serious about this or not? Because if you're not, you're gonna continue to keep getting hurt and you're gonna continue hurting yourself. You know what I'm saying? To a self reflect. Acknowledge your wrongs. Know that okay, nigga, okay, it was me. I'm not saying to take the full blame, but acknowledge that you are also wrong, too. It is, you know what I'm saying? These type of things, it takes two people. You know what I'm saying? It was wrong of me to even think that you could fix me. It's, it was wrong of me to even uh, think that you have these abilities when you are just like me, man. You're lost, too. You're lost and broken. Uh, it's just dumb of me and to think that, okay, you're supposed to have your shit together. You know what I'm saying? To, for me to even have those expectations of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just giving an example. That's how I took it. But, like, um, acknowledge it. Acknowledge your wrongs. Acknowledge where... Acknowledge, acknowledge yourself, okay? Admit your wrongs. Know that you're not perfect. Um, know that, okay, man, I did my... I, I did this bad. Okay? Acknowledge that. Three, isolate yourself. Know how to work with yourself, cope with yourself. Um, handle that emotion and what you think. You got to learn how to handle yourself. Stop search, Stop trying to wait and search for somebody to handle you. Like, Not even in that way, but I'm talking like you as a whole individual. Learn how to cope with yourself. Know, okay, so when I'm sad, I know that. When I'm sad, I know all, if I have... When I'm sad, all I got to do is this, and then, you know what I'm saying, I'm happy again. Or my endorphins are, you know, boosting up. Like, um, I know how to cope with myself when I'm sad. I like to watch funny stuff because it boosts my endorphins. Like, you know what I'm saying, just watching things that just alleviate myself a bit, you know what I'm saying. Or, like, distract myself with something and get bad focus again. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like, and I'm not talking sexually. Everything I'm talking about, I'm not talking about. Okay, never mind. <sighs> But I'm, what I'm saying is that, like, if I'm stressed or whatever emotion I'm going through, I'm not trying to search for the gateway to be sexual. It's not sexual at all. Um, reading a book, um, listening to music, or, you know what I'm saying, meditating on the Bible and stuff like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do, do sh like that. Things that is going to improve you one way or the other. Whether it's right now or later, it's going to happen. Um... I'm sorry, I look like a straight potato head, for real. Oh my god, I don't want to smile because I'm ugly. <laughs> purr, purr, purr. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. I'm going to be serious. Um, but yes, you got to learn how to work, cope with yourself. Because during this time, once you block that person, yes, you're going to miss them. You're going to miss the messages. I still read over. Because I don't care. Like, it's, it don't phase me no more. Like... Okay, I can still, I can put myself in my little feelings and be like, okay, man, that shit kind of hurt. But I'm like, nigga, look at where I'm at now. Nigga, it's like, it was better that way. It was meant to be, nigga. Like, I learned so much about myself. And I can see how immature, like, when I'm looking back, I'm just like, ugh, the fact that that was me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, self-reflecting, but, you know, I'm learning about myself. You have to isolate yourself to learn about yourself. You have to separate to elevate for real. You got to get somebody who's thinking, who on my time, you know what I'm saying? You thinking like me. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. It's like you're not just thinking on now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you thinking deep, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be on the top of time. I'm on, so we both make sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I'm talking, you understand what I'm saying, dick, you know what I'm saying? But um, you got to learn to cope with yourself and your thoughts and your emotions. And how to deal with that, them not being there. So, you know what I'm saying? And not searching for a sexual gateway. Like, stop searching for another partner, bro. Fix yourself, nigga. Learn how to be good on your own. Stop searching for somebody else to make you feel good or make you feel like, okay, now I'm good. Because, okay, yeah, I'm not alone. Like, when I'm lonely, I'm not good. Like, you need to fix yourself, sweetheart. I'm sorry to tell you, but I tell you, I'm actually not sorry. Um... Don't apologize. You need to fix yourself. You have a lot of work to be done on yourself if you still think that you need somebody to complete you. I do. I know I got a lot of work to be done. 
But I'm 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 working on myself though. That's for sure. That's for sure ski. For sure. But look at my toes though. Per 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 per. I don't like my big toe. Everywhere else though. Per per per. I need to get my nails done. This one just popped today, but it didn't hurt. These nails, short nails on me last long. I don't stop with the way I'm living just because I get my nails done. I don't stop the way I'm living just because I get my nails done. But anyways, I'm off topic. But yeah. Um, you gotta learn to cope with yourself. But yeah, that first one, before any of that, you gotta do that first one. Because then you're gonna easily forgive that person or make up an excuse on why you're letting that person back in. Like, because you, you already have this uh, attachment to them. So, it's gonna be easier letting them back in for the second, third, fourth, five, whatever number, many times you're letting them back in. Because you already have that attachment. So, you don't want to let them go anyways, nigga. So, you coming back, you make my job easier. Nigga, I ain't even have to chase you. You came right back. Um, But, no, you gotta leave, you gotta close that door. Um... You have to be unavailable to that person. Even, I don't care how long time goes without you speaking and that person comes back. I don't care. Me, I'm the type of person, once you do what you do, you say what you say, I don't care for an apology. I already grew past that. I already forgive you. But I want no parts with you. I don't care about rekindling, remaking, reforming, bettering, none of that. I don't care about none of that. It is what it was. It is what it is. It was what it was. That's all it's going to be. It's, there's, no, there's nothing new. We're not creating nothing new. It's just, yeah. <laughs> we had something, nigga, of what it's like. But, uh, I mean, shit. To be honest with you, I just feel like... you gonna. There's so many more things that we're going to go through in life. Prepare yourself, you know what I'm saying, for the worst. I think of the worst scenario. And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I've already seen this coming before even the, before it was even coming. Like, me, I'm, the t I'm big on energy. I'm big on vibes. So, me, without even speaking, I can already feel things and answers. So, questions that I have. Most of the time, my assumption in the way that I'm thinking is not far off wrong. And that's all I got to say. I'm not saying I'm facts. I'm facts. Like, everything I think of and assume is right. But most of the time, it's not like I'm far. It's not like I'm not. It's not like I'm not, you know what I'm saying, touching something. I'm not tapping on the surface. Like, I'm pretty sure damn near the surface, nigga. It's not like I'm way off wrong. Like, nah. I know I'm not. Why? Because I feel it. Like, I don't know. It's just. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, I definitely have that. Um, I'm a, definitely a big vibe person, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, looks can be deceiving, energy can be deceiving, so yeah, gotta be careful with that, but other than that, um, yeah, man, you gotta learn to be good on yourself and be good on your own, so there won't be a next time, and I'm not talking about with that, just with that person, but with anybody new who's trying to come in, like, you're good with yourself. Like, I'm good. I'm not even searching for that type of relationship with you. Like, let's just kick it. Let's just be cool. No no intercourse, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be cool. Let's kick it. Let's just vibe out. That's it. Like, we don't got to do nothing like that. Like, I'm saying, if somebody like that, I'm just like, baby, you got your own problem going on. But I'm serious, though. Like, these things help me. So, hopefully help you. And I'm talking about with attachments, okay? Not just sexual attachments. Just soul ties, period, but also attachments. Um, it's real. But anyways, I'll continue on this video in a better lighting, but this video will get posted out. But make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys comment down below. <gasps> and bye. That's the end of that. That's the end of this video, and I gotta go.